So we've got the MD and Chief Executive, Terry Burgess, uh, joining us from Melbourne. Uh, Terry Burgess, thanks all for joining us. Uh, first of all, just uh, tell us about the state of your business at the start of the year. No, we, 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 we think uh, 2012 is going to be a very good year for, for us, and uh, copper continues to be very buoyant. Um, so we, we're very happy being in, I think, what is the right commodity mix with copper and gold. And, of course, today we did put out uh, what I think is a very good set of financial results for 2012. Yep. Uh, just taking a look at them with a bit more detail. What you know, you've got a you've got a ca cash in the bank. Exactly how much do you have? And what do you intend to use it for? Uh, yeah, we, we finished the year with a very strong cash balance of $886 million, um, and that's despite the fact that uh, we did an acquisition last year of Carapatina, which we put out some drill results today. That was $250 million, and we also returned some uh, money to shareholders through uh, capital management program and dividends and also a buyback. Uh, but with that amount of cash on hand, we, uh, we're very actively looking for opportunities out there that uh, we think can add value uh, for the company. It's, uh, it's, it's a quest that we will continue continue to do. I mean, the most important part of that uh, uh, comment is that we're looking for value, and uh, that, that's not that easy to find, but uh, we're, 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 our business development team are out there uh, looking for those such opportunities. Yeah, well, then talk to me about such opportunities, because is it going to be a situation where they would be uh, bolt-on acquisitions, i.e. you could actually be getting more intensified into copper itself, or would you be looking at actually diversifying away into another metal? No, no, definitely not diversification. Um, we, we think that we've got the right mix of commodity with copper and uh, copper gold. Uh, we're going to stick with that. We've, we've, we've assessed a number of times now uh, other commodities, but we, we're now determined that we're going to stay with uh, the commodities that uh, we're happy with and uh, from what we hear from our shareholders, they're very happy with as well. So uh, that's what we will look at. We, we've got some uh, tight criteria on the, on the different parts of the world that we'll look at and also the scale of the projects. Obviously, what will be best for us is if we can find some additional production. Uh, so the, the projects that are perhaps in production now or could be brought into production uh, in a sort of two- or three-year time frame would be the sort of targets that we'll be looking at. Uh, talk to me about the Carapatina uh, drilling that you've had there as well. You've had the first results, I think, today. Uh, what were they like? Yeah, the results were very good. We bought Carapatina uh, last year um, in May. Um, we quickly came out with a resource estimate of 200 million tons at 1.3 percent copper. And, th and then the next stage is then to, to give a good assessment of that uh, resource by putting in some of our own drilling. And what we tended to do is drill in a, a different orientation to the previous vendors just to get a full measure of the extent uh, of that underground mineralization. So we've, we've announced uh, two results today. Uh, two holes, um, and we're, we're very pleased that these holes have confirmed the, the sort of high grades uh, that we, we were aware um, are present in the uh, ore body, but also that the, there's an extension beyond that resource boundary that we announced last year. So we've got intersections like four, over 400 metres at 2.7 and over 350 metres at 1.73 percent copper. So pretty, pretty seriously good uh, intersections, uh, which uh, really justifies the expenditure that we made last year to buy the asset. Just uh, very quickly as well, does copper move higher through the course of this year? What are you actually planning for? Um, look, if, if copper moves higher, then, um, you know, that obviously is very beneficial for our operation at Prominent Hill. This year we're going to produce between 100,000 uh, and 110,000 tonnes of copper. We also produce a fair amount of gold, between 130,000 ounces and 150,000 ounces of gold each year. So if the price goes up, um, that's going to obviously benefit our existing operations. Um, we think that there will be uh, continued supply um, constraints on the, on the copper market, so uh, that, that's, that's a likely scenario. But we're obviously, on the other hand, we're looking for opportunities out there. So, you know, a little bit of weakness on, in the copper price on occasion, uh, that could be a good day for us to buy something. Terry Burgess, thanks for joining us. Uh, he's the Oz Minerals uh, Managing Director and Chief Executive on the line there uh, from Melbourne.